Okay, so right now I'm going to show you how to stack a split data set. So this is really useful for times when you're doing something like a repeated measures ANOVA, when your data comes in stacked form, and I'll show you what that means really quickly. So I've already read in my data from a CSV file using the read.csv function. And so now I'm just going to load my data, this as dot data.frame uh, tells it that we want it to load into a data frame. So I'm just showing you the top couple of rows, but basically what I have is the IDs of our participants um, and then some ratings. This A, B, C, and D is just ratings of different ice cream flavors for that individual. So I want to do a repeated measures ANOVA on this, and so I'm going to need to stack it. So doing that, we're going to use the stack function. And the first thing that we're going to do is data.frame, just telling it that we want it in a data frame. Um, and this split df1 is telling us that we want the ID number in our new data frame. Um, and then this next part is the stack function. And this is just telling us that 3 through 6 is, oh god, stop. All right, just stop. All right. <clears throat> Oh, it's right there. Okay. Okay, so today I just want to show you how to stack your data frame. So you might have some data in split form, which is also called wide form. Um, so the first thing that you need to do, obviously, is read in your data. I've already done that with this top row right here. Um, so then, of course, we want to turn that into a data frame. Just makes everything a little bit easier. And here I'm showing you just the first couple of rows of that split data frame. So you can see here there's a column with the ID number of that participant. And then for each participant, we have four ratings. Here it happens to be ice cream. Um, so we have ratings for A, B, C, and D. But I want to do a repeated measures ANOVA on this, so I'm going to need it in stacked form. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that today. So the first thing that you're going to do is use this data.frame function. This is just telling uh, R that you want it in a data frame. And this first part, this split df1, that's just telling us I want column 1 in my new data frame. And those, of course, are the IDs. We don't want to lose track of who rated what ice cream, um, how high, so we're going to put that in there. And the next thing that we want is this stack function. So the stack function is telling uh, R that we want columns 3 through 6. So remember that R starts indexing at 1. So columns 3 through 6 are going to be this A, B, C, and D. Um, and it's telling us, or it's telling R that we want that stacked. So I'm going to go ahead and run that right now. So as you can see, when you get the outputted function, um, you get the data frame that looks like this, where it has the ID number, it has the value or the rating of that ice cream, and then this IND column, it's going to have which ice cream that is. And this is perfect to stick into our repeated measures in NOVA.